character of the week. So, today's character week is the Gridiron Gladiator, the vigilante of the field. <laughs> I can't even keep a straight face. Ooh, I've been waiting for this one. So this character is, uh, his real name is Phil Grayfield, but he goes by the alias Super Pro. Fabian Nikesi is a famed writer of such great uh, book, team books as X-Men, X-Force, New Warriors. Pretty much a lot of the 90s comic books were penned by him. Unfortunately, the blemish on his record is Super Pro. Now, I'm not going to hold that against him because the whole reason why he created Super Pro is so he can get free NFL swag. And it did not work. At all. <sighs> so Super Pro uh, is about a uh, former football player who had a career-threatening uh, injury um, when he tried to save a kid from a car accident and injured his knee in, in the process. So then he became a uh, sports reporter. And one of the uh, events he was uh, doing a sports report, he was interviewing a super fan who just so happened to be a scientist and just so happened to be creating a some sort of super suit that happened to look just like a football uniform. Now he also had like other spare, uh, sports paraphernalia, which is the reason why he was being interviewed because he's such a fan of the game. But he happened to have a suit, a super suit, that looked like a football uniform. And it just so happened at that time that so a group of uh, thugs or thieves or whoever decided to break in and um, try to steal some of this uh, super uh, paraphernalia. But not the suit, they left the suit alone, but they wanted to go after like other jerseys and and virtual fees and whatnot. And then somehow in the middle of this uh, ruckus, they ended up, ended up getting splashed with some uh, chemicals, which granted him superpowers, because, you know, 90s, chemicals, fire, powers. And then he decided to put on a super suit to, to stop them. And he realized that he had invulnerability, uh, speed, strength, and he just so happened to decide to fight crime as a superhero dressed like a uh, football player. God, so 90s. Now, the initial run for Super Pro only lasted for about 12 issues, and I'm surprised it even lasted that long. He had two guest appearances, so he was intertwined into the Marvel Universe. He had a guest appearance from Spider-Man himself, Captain America himself. I mean, what's more patriotic than a guy with stars and stripes and a shield running alongside a guy in a football uniform? Crying. Can you imagine, like, being in jail and being like, Hey, who took you down? Spider-Man? What about you? Uh... Super Pro. <laughs> you got taken down by a quarterback? Tons of football references and puns and bad dialogue to go along with this great, great gridiron classic. He really just wanted some NFL tickets for free. One of his villains was a uh, former field kicker turned assassin <laughs> named Quick Kick. I don't even need to go through the whole rogues gallery. His, his, I don't know what's worse, his rogues gallery or his allies. They're just all full of like racial stereotypes and puns and stereotypes. It was like a it was like a Saturday morning breakfast cereal cartoon in comic book form with football uniforms and sports reference. Um, it's going down in history as the worst comic book of all time. Maybe in the 90s, just in general. To this day, the, the writer still gets flack for it. And deservedly so. Go super pro. Alright, uh, back to you guys.